If you ask a dog owner why they are potty training their dog, you would get different reasons. Some do it for the good of the dog and of others to keep their home clean but regardless of the reason, it is always beneficial to potty train your Shizu. Here are some of the benefits of doing so. 1. No dog mess slash odor in undesirable places. This is the most obvious reason. Some dogs tend to find a hidden section in the house and do their business there. If you cannot find where your dog relives themselves, you might have a difficult time keeping your house smelling fresh. But if you potty train them well, you can eliminate that bad smell. 2. They can stay in the house when unwell or injured. When your Shizu has an injury or an illness, it might not be safe to take them outside. This means that they might do their mess in the house causing bad smells and a lot of cleaning up after them. But if they are potty trained they would be able to stay indoors and relieve themselves in the right place. 3. It gives you peace of mind. Not only does potty training your Shizu help to keep your house free from the odor and mess, but it also gives you peace of mind. Have you ever come across a pet owner who always rushes home from work to take their dog out? When your puppy is potty trained you wouldn't have to worry about rushing home when you are out and about. Before I move on with the video, do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that would help you have a well-behaved, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. The secret training technique cheat sheet is available for free only for a limited time from the link in the description box below. Now let's explore the strategies for potty training your Shizu. 1. Start as soon as possible. First things first, you need to start the potty training as soon as the puppy gets home. If you just got them from the breeder, don't wait. The earlier you start, the better your success. Too many new pet owners make the mistake of ignoring the mess the puppy leaves around the house for the first few weeks. They presume that the puppy will learn when he grows up. This is a very big mistake. Instead, start the potty training straight away. Also, keep in mind that puppies have a small bladder so this means that the puppy will poop and pee whenever they want to. They cannot hold it for a long time. When potty training a puppy take it as though you were handling your two-year-old child. Remember to be patient. 2. Observe your Shizu puppy. After you understand that they have a small bladder and can do their thing almost anywhere and whenever they feel like it, you will need to keep an eye on them. Make sure that you observe them to see if they are showing any signs of wanting to go. You will need to watch out for common signs like sniffing, squatting, or circling. Always be keen to notice any body language that indicates they want to relieve themselves. 3. Decide on the location and stick to it. Another important thing you need to consider is whether you want to train the dog in the house or outside. Do you want to train them to go on a specific spot outside or do you prefer using a litter box or pad in the house? Which of the two is the best option? That depends on some factors. If you live in an apartment with multiple floors, you might want to consider potty training indoors. But if you live in a home with a yard, the outside option would also be a good idea. All in all, choose one option and stick to it. Do not train your dog to use the litter box inside one day then take them outside the next day. Doing this will confuse them and be counterproductive. 4. Follow a regular feeding schedule. If you feed your Shizu at specific times throughout the day it will help you predict when they will want to go. It's a good idea to establish a routine for both you and your dog. Feed them the same times every day so that they can also use the bathroom at regular times. Your dog will most likely want to go about 30 minutes after feeding. Remember to give them enough water. Some owners deny their dog water so that they don't urinate overnight. Just because the same approach works with your kids doesn't mean you should apply the same to the dog. The dog needs plenty of water throughout the day so ensure that there is fresh water available for your dog at all times. 5. Designate a potty spot. For those living in a home with a yard, you should consider designating a spot for your Shizu to use whenever they want to relieve themselves. Doing this is the simplest approach if you prefer the dog to go outside. The dog can easily sniff his pee and poop, which then encourages them to go in the same area again and again. Choosing a corner is a good idea because the pee and poop smell rarely vanishes. 
For those that don't have a backyard, you can opt for a specific tree or grass patch where they can do their thing. 6. Introduce a litter box. The litter box is the best friend for any dog owner that wants to potty train them. One thing about the litter box is that it is suitable for any house. Whether you live in a home with a backyard or a condo slash apartment, a litter box will serve you perfectly. You will need to use positive behavior when training your dog. Add some litter and don't forget to line the box with some pee pads or newspaper. Take them to the litter box after meals, not immediately after but when you know it's around the time they will want to go. Remember we said the Shizu takes around 30 minutes to poop or pee after meals so this is a good estimate. Whether you trained your dog to go outside or inside the house in a litter box you should reward them when they do it correctly. With a reward, you can either give them a good boy or a good girl or a dog treat as long as it's something positive that your dog responds to in a positive way. Also, make sure you reward them immediately after they go so they can associate what they have just done with the treat. If you leave it too late they won't realize what they are rewarded for. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.